we are firmly convicted that Jesus Christ is the true Messiah and that there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood, as we're told in the book of Hebrews, that God's wrath for unrighteousness was poured out upon the Christ, upon the Mashiach, uh, and he took away the punishment that we rightly deserved for our sin. And of course, we know that because we are inherently flawed uh, with this sin problem that came to us through Adam and Eve's disobedience, uh, that we needed the second Adam to come, uh, which is another name for Yeshua, Jesus Christ, uh, that we needed him to come to live the righteous, perfect life in full obedience to God's law, uh, in order that he may transfer his righteousness to us uh, as he was punished as a criminal and didn't deserve it. This is the divine exchange that we find in Jesus and that we can be saved, we can be made clean and washed by his blood if we put our faith and our trust in him to save us. And a restored relationship that we were once cut off from God because of our sins, but now we are brought close, brought through the veil uh, in Christ and his sacrifice. Jesus is the way to eternal life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but by me. And I can testify um, to my own life how he has come into my life and he has uh, given me this promise. And I know I, it's a living reality, this promise. I know that I am a failure. I know that I fall short of the glory of God. I know that I am not good enough. There's no work works that I can do to make myself righteous and clean. But because of the blood that he shed, the Passover lamb, that he shed his blood, that I may have his righteousness and walk in his righteousness uh, because he now lives in me. And of course, uh, you know, this is nothing to do with me. It's not my glory. It's not my effort. It's not something that I have earned through being a good person. But this is because God himself had grace, the same grace that he had all through the Old Testament, uh, that now we can receive his grace because Jesus died on the cross and he rose again. And that through his plan, his good news, I am forgiven, I'm forgiven, and I'm washed clean and I'm given newness of life, that there, there is a purpose to my life because I know that God is real and that uh, I have peace with him and you can know that peace too this is uh, for anyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved so believe upon jesus christ repent and believe that jesus is the messiah and you you will receive his holy spirit you'll be born again into the kingdom of god and be his child and god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life he came into the world not to condemn the world but that through him the world may be saved anyone who does not believe on him is condemned already